Sandhurst, the home of the British Army officer. But the international reputation of the college was tarnished with the death of Officer Cadet Olivia Perks in 2019. Once a high achiever, the service inquiry report into her death was deeply critical of the institution. Four years later, the Defence Secretary says it made him angry. We had an obligation to Officer Cadet Perks to look after her. That's that simple. I have a 16-year-old daughter, right? I, and I felt that, you know, what, what, what went on uh, was deeply wrong. And, of course, I can't anticipate what the coroner's inquest is going to say. But, you know, if we are not careful, we will lose all that support that we need to have for people to join these forces. Uh, and I, I think it was just something that, for me, touched, touched a, a chord that says, look, you know, this, is, this has got to be dealt with. The latest figures show rape cases have doubled, that sexual offences are up generally. Um, does that depress you in terms of a lack of progress? Well, I don't think it is a symbol of a lack of progress. What I think what it's actually showing is the work we've done on reforms and the ability for women to speak out uh, much more easily outside the chain of command are, are starting to show people being prepared to come forward. The Perks inquiry uncovered a predatory, toxic culture at Sandhurst. The instructor cohort, internal communications and the alcohol policy were all criticised. Now the Ministry of Defence says Sandhurst is paving the way for culture change across the army. The assault course here at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst is the same one they've been using for years, but the academy say the culture is all new. The current intake is 13% female and the leadership team say they're committed to transforming their experience. On his arrival, new Commandant Major General Zach Stenning conducted a review of culture, conduct and standards. The results? Three new measures. A new RMAS Code of Conduct to be signed by cadets and instructors. A new alcohol policy which provides safe spaces for cadets and instructors to drink separately. And the creation of a sexual harassment task force. At the core of that task force is empowering cadets and instructors to report any unacceptable behaviours as quickly as possible. I am growing more confident that we've got the right mechanisms in place to swiftly and demonstrably deal with any bad behaviour. Sandhurst believe they're playing their part in making the army a more inclusive place for women to work and they also believe this will pay dividends on the battlefield. I think it matters to all the army leadership team, you know, this will change on our watch. Uh, we want this to be a much more inclusive army and because if we have an inclusive army, we'll be a better winning army. It's about respect for others, it's about unlocking the power of collective wisdom and it's about building strong teams as part of the teamwork initiative on behalf of the whole army. The Army knows it has a long way to go to achieve its ambitious goal of increasing female intake from 15% to 30% by 2030. But they say an open dialogue about culture and behaviour is key. Part of it has been about looking in the mirror and realising that there are some areas we just haven't got right and then it's creating the conditions as to how we move forward collectively because we all have blind spots. And it's about identifying those and, you know, some people for all sorts of reasons just haven't been privy to some of this behaviour. Opening the conversations up, having these days where we're genuinely focusing in on them has enabled us to start to have those conversations. That sort of language has got to be, it's got to be removed from your vocabulary. Basically. At the end of last year, the MOD brought in a new zero tolerance policy on sexual abuse. These officer cadets are engaging in role play to help them grow into future leaders with the skills, confidence and inclination to enforce and live by these new modern standards. Rosie Layden, Forces News, Sandhurst. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.